Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Oriwe podcast, the podcast that tells African stories. I'm Halima. And I'm Ceci, and today we're going to be discussing hoodoo and voodoo. Yep. So, like, these two terms are, like, one of, on the, like, if we're ranking most confused terms in the world, these, these two, they rank very highly there. I agree. To be honest, I was not aware until very recently that there was a the difference between these two things as well because you kind of hear them being intermixed. So we're going to give you guys, this is a primer, basically. This is who do versus who do a primer. So we're not claiming to be experts on the topic, but we just want you guys to kind of understand the distinction and talk a little bit about both of these terms. Yep. Hoodoo is like folk magic. Magic is a form of like folk magic and is not associated with any religion. While voodoo is a type of religion, so that's like the basic distinction. Voodoo is the religion. Hoodoo is just like a, a magic without religion. is not associated with any type of religion. So I think it's important to um, emphasize that both of these things are associated with African culture. Um, a lot of people even associate them a lot with African culture, because, with African American culture as well, because a lot of it was kind of transferred to the diaspora by enslaved Africans and then passed on from um, generation to generation, let's say. So, hoodoo is kind of, hoodoo evolved from a lot of different, like, let's say, it evolved from some religious practices, it evolved from a lot of um, beliefs and things like that. And it kind of mm-hmm. became its own, it's not just a religion, it's kind of like a mishmash of, of spiritual practices and things like that, that people do. And then voodoo uh, or vodun is an actual religion that religion. originated specifically from Benin, I think, right? Yeah, the Benin Republic. Yes. It's a West African country, by the way, for those that don't know. Yes. So um, I think even the term voodoo is, is from a fun word. I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. But fun is a language spoken in Benin, like Benin, Benin Republic, really, the Republic of Benin. And yeah, that's where the term voodoo came from. And then now I think voodoo is practiced in like not just Benin, but in like mostly um, New Orleans in the U.S. and yes. in Haiti in I don't know if Haiti is in the Caribbean, but I don't want to give out wrong information. But I you guys know Haiti now. Yes. So. Yes. Haiti um, is so, in the Caribbean. Uh, yeah. Um, according to various research, voodoo has like there are different types of voodoo clearly because there's the one in Benin which has been merged with different types of things. There's the one in Haiti. There's the one in New Orleans, and then wherever um, voodoo is practiced. So uh, apparently there are four elements that are common to every voodoo religion. So the first one is a recognition of ancestors. That's like African ancestors and spirits. And then the second one is um, there has to be ceremonies that celebrate these deities in every voodoo religion. They practice that. And then the third one is there's a sophisticated divination system that predicts people's faith and the will of spirits and then the fourth one is the use of animal sacrifice or any other food or drink to thank these deities so these four attributes are part of every um voodoo religion hoodoo on the other hand they mostly make use of potent herbs and hoodoo is basically using herbal remedies to put out good luck or to heal for healing purposes for good luck purposes and for stuff like that that's another major distinction. So <clears throat> when you look at pop culture, there are a lot of um, there are a lot of depictions, let's say, of voodoo or hoodoo, which are kind of intermixed um, on TV and in movies and things like that, specifically in African and American TV, um, in a lot of I don't know, has anyone ever seen American horror story? where Angela Bassett is like, she a voodoo priestess or something, a voodoo queen. And there's, there's a lot of other movies like that. There's some Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> where, um, anyway, I'm not sure if that's correct. Actually, <laughs> I 
I don't I don't know much about like hoodoo voodoo in popular culture, but I did I apparently this is a myth. You know how like in most Western movies they're like these dolls, like voodoo dolls and everything, and people pin pin these dolls to like harm people and they believe like pinning different parts anyways the doll is the caricature of a human being and anything you do to the doll it kind of affects the human being that you yes. want to harm to yeah apparently um people are like that's not voodoo or hoodoo as well it's just like a mix of european imagination of the of these african practices so that was interesting to see. So apparently that's wrong. That that practice is not voodoo or it is no voodoo as well. I find that like most African religions are, um, voodoo is demonized. It's kind of, you know, mm-hmm. portrayed always in a negative light as something right. like destructive and something evil. And this is common with a lot of African religions and the way they are depicted in, in pop culture. Sometimes they are kind of portrayed as something in between or something interesting or like there's a, a good element to it. Like I know in some cartoons, like Princess and the Frog, where the bad guy, you know, was, he did some, I, I believe it was hoodoo in his case. And then there was uh, the good lady who helped them out and also practiced the same. And then in a lot of uh, movies and things, they're just used to hurt people especially with that voodoo doll depiction where like it's used to hurt innocent people and then the practitioners of it are seen as like bad people for even knowing about it in the first place there's even this horror movie called the skeleton key or something like that where um some hoodoo practitioners are basically trying to use hulu to possess the bodies of like two young white people anyway that movie is a mess but actually it's very interesting (laughs) yeah and um i think something that i find interesting about let me would i say voodoo plus hulu now like both both um the religion and then the practice thingy is the fact that in benin for example voodoo has voodoo wears a different face and voodoo in the u.s for example has another face so for example hoodoo practitioners in the u.s i was reading something and then it shows that they give people like um potions and everything to protect them against like police incarceration or like to make them find favor in the legal system and everything and then it just made me realize i know right how like all these like practices is just like traditions religion and everything how they reflect like people's present situation like people's realities so it's just like voodoo was made to like people believe that all these herbs all these remedies and everything it will it gives them like some sort of cover against let's say police finding them like guilty on wrongfully convicting them and stuff like that sure. So anyways, that was interesting to see how voodoo is different from... In Benin, for example, Benin has like high number of poverty, sick people and everything. So voodoo there is is to protect them against all these things. But voodoo in the US is used for something slightly different. So that was interesting to see. I think that a lot of... Yeah, I I find that very interesting anyway. I think that a lot of African religions um, as well, a lot of people use them for protection. Like with the Nigerian traditional religions... When people are like committing crime or something, they go and say they want, you know, something to protect them or to yeah. prevent police from seeing them or like something to make them bulletproof. Um, and voodoo is something that's really traveled in the diaspora. And in Brazil, where, by the way, there are, there are lots of African religions in Brazil because a lot of people from Africa, a lot of enslaved Africans settled there and they practice a lot of, um, they practice voodoo as well. There are lots of voodoo, voodoo worshippers and there are some even offshoots of voodoo religions. You know, just the way that there are offshoots of, of um, Catholicism and there's Protestantism yeah. and then there are other um, like offshoots of it. There are offshoots of voodoo as well. Apparently, like there's something called Candomblé, um, which kind of blends elements of West African religions in general. And so includes elements of voodoo as well. And I think um, in... I think in Brazil, so people like practice this hoodoo for economic prosperity. So that's another thing they use it for. They like create charms and everything from voodoo. In essence, yeah. voodoo is not voodoo is a religion. It's not it's not some diabolical sort of yes. practice. 
I think that's the point we're trying to make with this episode. That voodoo is is really not that deep, honestly. It's not evil, that's the thing. And a lot of people conflate people practicing mm-hmm. voodoo with witchcraft. Like they think, yeah. oh, this person's a witch. And I really think that's the fault of Hollywood, you know? <laughs> because like mm-hmm. witchcraft and, and voodoo have been um like they've been entwined with each other, people don't really see the difference anymore. So once somebody's like putting pins in a door, that person is a witch, yeah. you know, and that, that that person is evil and blah blah blah. Even though there's a school of thought that believes that that putting pins in a door doesn't even originate from the Buddhist religion as at all. Although I have seen some some things that say otherwise. So I guess it's a contentious debates, yeah, debates that dull mm-hmm. aspect. So thank you guys for listening to our rambles on hoodoo versus voodoo. This was a primary episode. If you want to learn more about the distinction between both these terms, please go to our website, oriray.com, where we will have an article talking about this. Also, we would like to have someone who is more knowledgeable about this topic to come on the podcast with us and talk about it with us for an actual in-depth episode. So if you know about it or you know someone who knows something about it, we would like if you would recommend them to us as a guest or you would come on the podcast yourself. You can always contact us on Instagram where we are Oriwe underscore Africa. That's O-R-I-I-R-E underscore Africa. Twitter where we are the same, Oriwe underscore Africa. And our website, oriwe.com. Once again, that's O-R-I-I-R-E. R-E. Make sure to like this podcast episode. Make sure to subscribe or follow for future episodes. And, you know, follow us on social media as well. And also reach out to us if you have ideas for any topic that you would like to come on and talk about. Thank you for listening. Bye, guys. Bye.